How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be looking at two maps that we're going into the new matchmaking for MCC. As we all know the update for the MCC is coming September 1st. Though we have some potentially some new maps coming your way. So like I made in the video previously there's three maps that are definitely going to be making, in the, making it into the MCC. Well potentially some new forge maps as well. So in this video I'm going to be able to show you two out of the three maps that we're going them into matchmaking. No determined date but they should be coming around rather soon. Two out of the three because downloading maps on MCC is incredibly complicated and not easy at all and really inconvenient and also keep in mind that a lot of these weapon placements in some parts of these map may change because those changes have been submitted to the creators and they need to make those changes for them to be submitted into matchmaking so everything's not final but you'll get the general idea of how these maps will look and play out so now the first map we're going to look at here is a map that's been internally referred to as baby gulch and as you can probably see why because it's in a big field with a box canyon around the outside of it and it's a rather large map this map made by Kel of Scots is designed for Slayer and multi-flag CTF. This map is rather large, so if you could probably pull off like a 5v5, probably that would work out rather well. I don't think that this would work out well for a big team battle map. Uh, it's a little too small to have 16 players on it, but I think it's a little big for just 4v4. Plus you have vehicles on the map as well. So I have a feeling this map kind of was intended for big team battle, but maybe uh, it just wasn't quite big enough, or maybe the sizes of what was allowed in Forge didn't allow it to be a full-size big team battle map. The reason why I mentioned it is because each base has one ghost and a warthog and there are two overshields on both sides of the map as well. Though I do think this map will play out rather well because you can tell by just the design of the map that there is divisions within the map of where battles are supposed to happen. You can definitely tell on the outside of the map is where you'll see probably a lot of vehicle play for sure. You even have a windy kind of path through the middle as well that will kind of get you from one base to the other. So if you want to use a vehicle it'll be a really quick way to get around. In the center of the map Map, or generally in that area is where you'll find a lot of good battles between players uh, just because I think it's very narrow so vehicles can't really get through them too well and it's not really that effective and so I think that would be fine so it'd be great so then hopefully the vehicles will not be so overpowered as they tend to be in just 4v4 game modes. I feel like this map would play out best for capture the flag because it's a little too big for Team Slayer and it might play a little too slow and especially with the vehicles it would really kind of you know mess up the flow of the game and really the balance but if you put it as CTF for the most part I think it would actually play out rather well as it get people more moving and more kills and deaths don't matter as much when it comes to Slayer. Either way I'm very excited to get a chance to put my hands in the controller get my character moving inside this map playing on some CTF or some Slayer slaying the nubs all together and having a good time I'm definitely looking forward to getting a chance to play this map and matchmaking. Next on the showcase for maps going to be added into MCC matchmaking is a map that is referred to as Not So Narrows. This map called Select that's been created by Run Knock Yard Run was built with CTF, Slayer, and Ricochet in mind. As you can see, this map was clearly inspired by the classic Halo 3 map Narrows as it features a very similar bridge that goes across the map and that goes right up the middle and also it has two bases on either side. This map I can see playing very similar to Narrows as well, but with it being a little bit more accessible in movements and not so choke pointy as Narrows can be, which it could be either a good or a bad thing depending on what you're looking for in your gameplay. Now the map does feature man cannons just like in Narrows, but it actually fe features these cannons in the bottom middle of the map to kind of take you over the water that's on the bottom of the map, which obviously does kill you. As you can tell by this fly through that this map almost is just like a reimagining of Narrows but in the MCC and how the player probably would like to see Narrows play as. And I do think these are actually some really good additions that have been made to the Narrows like map because of all the accessibility that's been added to this map with the different lanes added to the middle part especially the certain boxes that can lead you to jump up back up to the middle area as well and some back paths that kind of get you from point A to B and also some areas where you can get from kind of sneak to the other side using the bottom mid 
man cannons. This map is definitely smaller than Narrows as well, so I expect a much higher pace gameplay. So definitely you'd want to stay on the outside of this map because it just seems like there's so many ways to get into the center of the map that it'd just be a bit much for a player to deal with. So I would personally probably just stick to the outsides, but though you do have a nice elevation change for the bridge in the middle to where if you are in the middle of the map, you're not getting shot from every possible angle. There are also some very cheeky jump spots as well. I already found out just running through this map. I could definitely say if you grab a sniper rifle, it can put some damage in, that's for sure. I expect this to probably work out best for CTF and Slayer. Maybe Ricochet would probably work out alright as well, but I think uh, CTF definitely, and also of course Slayer, because Slayer is amazing game mode, obviously. Select also features your standard weaponry of sniper rifles, carbines, battling rifles. I believe there's also a brute plasma rifle on the map as well, and some SMGs, so very standard kind of weaponry you can find. No surprises here. But yeah, that's the map select. Pretty much copy and paste your playstyle from Narrows, and you'll probably do just fine. Now, I would have featured the third map that's going to be put into matchmaking called Epic. It's a map that's designed for Slayer, Multiflex, CTF, Oddball, and they say potentially FFA as well. But the way uh, downloading maps works right now for the MCC, I was not able to download it because I couldn't, one, find the player on leaderboard to be able to go into their profile to download it, and they were not online at the same time as me, so I wasn't able to download the map, sadly. So 3 for 3, how about in the second update, add an ability for file searching like you have for Halo 5, or at least make it on the website. You know, I want to play these maps. Let me do it. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and like to stay up to date with any more Halo content coming your way here, well, tap the subscribe with the bell. Give you notification every time we upload anything awesome to the channel. Because, you know, it's going to be every time. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video as well. Are you looking forward to these maps? You know, they are looking for other submissions as well. So, you know, get in touch with your local 343 representative to get your maps put into matchmaking, hopefully. And if you enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more like it, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and the video gets more notoriety so more people get to know about these awesome maps getting added to the MCC. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you've missed some content from me. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.